Hi guys, it's Ben here, back with another preview, this time for the final of the Premier League Asia Trophy between Liverpool and Leicester City. It's been a stressful week. Naby Keita looked on, now it looks 50-50 at best. Virgil van Dijk remains 50-50. Confidence has decreased significantly. Andrew Robertson, though, looks like he will sign for Liverpool. In and amongst all this transfer nonsense that I'm sure we're all pretty sick of, Liverpool won a football match on Wednesday and they play in a cup final on Saturday. It's the Asia Trophy against Leicester City. Let's have a chat about that game because it's important to remember that as much as we want Virgil van Dijk, as much as we want Naby Keita, as much as we're all so stressed out by the whole thing, as much as some of you are FSG out, some of you are waiting for the Keita bid to come in again, some of you think we might still get van Dijk, Look, Liverpool have got a squad of players that are doing okay in pre-season. We've, got, we've still got a good squad. We still did well last season with this team. We improved upon it with Dominic Solanke, Mohamed Salah, Robertson's about to come in. We're going to sell some players and we will improve eventually. Whether it's Van Dijk and Keita, we don't know. Look, I'm as stressed as you lot. I can't stand it. I want it to all be resolved tomorrow. But let's get to the matter in hand. Liverpool face Leicester City and we played well on Wednesday. Look, it's a friendly, I know, but... The signs that we saw were positive. Mohamed Salah played really well. Dominic Slanky got his first goal for Liverpool. Henderson looked like his old self. It was a really solid performance. Yes, pre-season. Let's not look too much into it, but it's against the Premier League side. It doesn't harm to put in a good performance to win 2-0, you know, keep a clean sheet and look pretty solid in the process. So we go into Saturday's final against Leicester City with a record against them in the last sort of five games that we have shared the spoils with them. We drew against them at Anfield in 2015 and since then they've beaten us twice at their place. We've beaten them twice at our place. So. Pretty 50-50 in that regard, but you know, you'd obviously make us favourites in this one. The bookies have got us at odds on to win this match. They got us at 3-4, Leicester at 18-5, and the draw is at 13-5, so we are the comfortable favourites, and I think rightly so. I do like what Leicester are doing at the moment. I think Shakespeare, I think what he wanted about him, he was obviously a bit of a snake to Ranieri, he stabbed him in the back, but he's done a decent job. He steadied the ship last season. They look okay this preseason. They made some good signings. Harry Maguire looks a decent bit of business at £16 million. Pounds. Iacho looks like he may well join them, that would again be a fantastic signing. They've got a lot of good solid young players that are coming through. Damari Gray is someone I've always raved about. He, I think, is going to have a real breakout season for them and maybe get a big move to someone like Liverpool next summer. As for us, no fresh injury concerns after the Palace game. Kevin Stewart has left the squad to go and join Hull, it looks like, so he's the only absentee. Sadio Mane is obviously still back home recovering. Emre Chan's about to come back into training, so those two are still left back home, but most of the other first team guys are still in Asia, and I expect all of them to be involved in Saturday, whether it's in the same capacity as the game just gone, whether it's the same 11, I don't know. Let's have a go at predicting that 11. Simon Mignolet is going to play in goal. He got the clean sheet the other night, looked pretty good. He's going to be our first choice keeper this season. He will start. Right back, I'm going to go with Trent Alexander Arnold, a man who I've been really impressed about. I've said that time and time again. I'm looking forward to seeing him play again on Saturday. I think he might want to have another look at Joe Gomez at centre back alongside Matip, so I think that's what he might go with for the centre back pairing, and then James Milner will play on the left. Going to go for a midfield three of Jordan Henderson, Adam Milana, and Philippe Coutinho. I think he might move Coutinho back this time and I'm going to go with a front three of Mohamed Salah on the right he looked really dangerous against Palace some real good moments some good bursts of pace just a little bit not quite there on the end product but that of course will come he showed his goal against Wigan he's got the end product just a case of putting it together for Liverpool I'm actually going to go for Daniel Sturridge on the left of the front three I think Ben Woodburn's going to drop out and play the second half. And then I'm going to go for Dominic Solanke to start up front. He deserves a chance to play with the first team after what happened on Wednesday. Firmino will play the second half. He hasn't quite looked there. I think Solanke should get the nod to start in this final. I think his performance on Wednesday merits that. Why not give him a go from the first whistle? Of course, I'll all switch over the second half, so it doesn't really matter what the 11 is. But that's just what I'm going for. That's what I'd like to see. This is obviously not a major trophy. It's not something we should be celebrating if we win. But it wouldn't harm if we just came back with a bit of silverware. It wouldn't harm if we went out there for a tournament in Asia in front of millions of fans. If we came back with a couple of wins under our belt against Premier League opposition, solid Premier League opposition too, I just think that'd do a bit, a bit of good for our confidence, that's all. I think it's worth putting in a good display here, beating Leicester, who are a good side. I think they're going to do well this season. Let's put them to the sword. I'm feeling good about this one. My score prediction is Liverpool 3, Leicester City 1. And I think our scorers are going to be Solanke, Coutinho, and I'm going to go for Firmino. It's time he got off the mark, he's going to score in a second half. We're going to beat him 3-1, we're going to lift the Asia Trophy, and maybe by the time we've done that, we'll have some good news on signings, but it's time to forget that for now. As I said yesterday from Darren Lewis, it looks like we're going to wait until next week to make the next move with Cater. James Pearce indicated that we might be looking at alternatives already, so 
We're in for a roller coaster, but let's just enjoy Saturday's game. Saturday afternoon in the UK, we've got a football match to win. Let's go and do it. Let's not forget that we do still have a good side, a side that competed in the Premier League last season up until the injuries and Mane's absence. So let's not all be doom and gloom, but please do sign Van Dijk and Cater. Maybe another win on Saturday will cheer some people up. It may well cheer me up, depending on what Cater news and Van Dijk news we get in the meantime. Leave a comment with your score prediction, guys, and who you think is going to get on the score sheet for the Reds. Will Solanke follow up on his beautiful goal on Wednesday with another one here? Will Mohamed Salah get back to scoring ways? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Share the video for me. Drop a like on it if you're enjoying this sort of content. Follow my other socials, if Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, and I'll see you next time.